Hi, welcome to the program. I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching The Sit Down. Hanging out today with Hillary Bettis. Hi. 72 miles to go. It's coming. <laughs> Brand new yeah. prank. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Really nice to meet you. So nice you're you completely in the thick of things right now. So in the thick of it. Opening night is coming up yeah. in early March. Yeah. What has this whole process been like for you overall? It's been so many things. <laughs> it's been all of the things. I mean, it's been exciting and overwhelming and like getting to work at Roundabout, which is mm -hmm. one of the best theaters in the world, um, getting to work with an incredible cast and getting to work with Joe Bonnie, who's an incredible director, like all of that has been very magical, but it's also like we're trying together to find what this play is mm -hmm. and that is like a lot of ups and downs and a lot of like sleepless nights for <laughs> sure. <laughs> so what would you like this play to be? Like you guys are doing previews right now. Yeah. What do you think it is now and what would you like it to be? I really close like ultimately what's most important is that we tell the story of this family with empathy and dignity and that is like put in front of anything else mm -hmm. you know and so and I and, and I feel like everybody is really passionate about it everybody's heart is really in the story um, we're working with this amazing cast um, many of whom like grew up on the border and so this is also like very familiar to their own lives and their own um, identities. And, you know, and of course, like, we want it to be a beautiful theatrical experience as well. We want, like, like the writing and the acting and the design and all of that stuff to, like, really click and come together. But I think ultimately, as long as an, an audience walks away with, like, a bigger, deeper understanding of who these people are, I think then we've really done our job. So this is obviously an emotional story. Did you always envision yourself telling a story like this, or is this something that kind of sprung on you the last couple years? Yes and no. I mean, I, I've i always, like, really sort of written about um, the, like, Mexican-American Chicano identity mm -hmm. and the border. Um, I've written, like, multiple plays and pilots and screenplays and things that all sort of, like, circle around this particular subject. Um, you know, like my own family, my, my mother actually grew up in Tucson, Arizona, mm -hmm. where the play is set, my grandfather's Mexican, right. and so I think part of, like, my desire to write a, through this particular lens, long before it was, like, ever a conversation in the, you know, the news headlines and mm -hmm. the zeitgeist was, like, to understand my own family and to understand where we came from and who we are and how we ended up in this country and, you know, how I ended up getting to be a <laughs> writer in the yeah. first place in a lot of ways. Um, so, yeah, so it's something that I've, like, really, really, like, dabbled in in a lot of different, like, genres and directions and things like that, but... What would you say fascinates you the most about peeling back the layers of Mexican-American identity and just really, like, your whole family history, in yeah, a sense? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I, I think there's sort of... I, it's oh my god, that's such a complicated question. <laughs> I like you know so my 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 grandfather and my like really came from like a family that believed that you have to like assimilate and be more American than mm -hmm. Americans, and so you have to sort of cut off this part of your identity. Like for example, Spanish was his first language, but he like tried to hide it from my grandmother, tried to hide it wow. from my mother. My mother didn't know that he spoke Spanish until she was like. 18. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And like, and Tucson is an incredibly bilingual yeah, totally. border town. And so like to make that active conscious choice has been really sort of heartbreaking mm. and really fascinating at the same time and really trying to understand like well, what was his life like and his childhood like that, that drove him to this. And, but it was always like at the same time, a big part of like my own family's, like how we thought about ourselves and how we talked about ourselves. Mm. And so, you know, it, it's very much been in, like, conflicts with each, with each other. Like, how do we be American, but also how do we, like, embrace this part of who we are? And how do we, um, you know, and so I think, and, like, digging into this play and digging into this family, because all of these characters have, like, very different perspectives of what that means. Like, they're a mixed status family. You know, um, Anita, the mother, really very similar to my grandfather, very much tried to, like, shield her mm -hmm. kids from what, like, all of the pain and suffering that she went through, and for her that meant, like, denying this part of herself. And so two of the kids are born in the U.S. One was born in Mexico but came to the United States as a child. And so everybody in this family is sort of grappling with, like, well, what does this mean for me, and how do I, like, marry these two identities, which I think is, like, something that my family is 
really struggled with our entire existence. I know? think a lot of people have struggled with that yeah. because you can make the argument that for some people it's easier to just put it all away. Yeah. But at the same time, it is a heartbreaking thing because that's who you are yeah. and it's important to embrace yeah. your identity. And I feel like now we're in a place that you can do that, yeah, but there are sure. still challenges with it. So I'm for sure it's sure. really interesting looking at your grandfather's generation versus yeah. your generation and how that's yeah. been different. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And even Absolutely. just being able to do this play, like this wasn't a play necessarily you could have done five or 10 years ago in the yeah. same space. Like yeah. the fact that there's the runway to do that, I'm sure is a really cool thing. It, so like, have you is. been able to have deeper conversations with your family as a result of all this? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I've definitely like, you know, and my mother and my aunts and, and cousins and really been like trying to put together a genealogy mm -hmm. of like, you know, and a lot of my cousins also grew up on the border and on both sides of the border. And there's still a lot of like fear around being able to even talk about mm. this. 